Day provides me with a good opportunity to meet those people, for them to meet me and for us to begin to work more collaboratively together. What I'd like to see coming out of today is um, for the supply chain partners to understand what inter-serve learning and employment's priorities are with regards to sustainable development how they can influence decisions that we make when we put together our sustainable development plan and actions that come out of today. I specialise in employer engagement techniques for companies who are trying to get unemployed people back into work and training. I'm working with InterCERN predominantly on going into their partnership meetings when they hold them and giving the partners some really good skills and techniques that they can then share with their staff to help them actually identify the right type of employers to place customers with, uh, whether that be put them into work or placements, but it really gives them some ammunition to take away and then filter through to their own network of staff actually of how they can be more effective. Today's event has helped a number of us share good practice and just wax lyrical about different ideas and things that we're all doing. In, in many respects, we're all doing very, very similar things, but it, it's not that Kaizen principle. If you want a 10% increase, it's not one 10% increase. It's a, it's a series of 10 1% increases and changes. And I think coming today has helped me realise that just by polishing and listening and changing a few little bits, we might be able to increase productivity and performance by a good 10%. Um, and you can always learn from the other providers. I think the, the need for us to have flexibility in the framework of uh, delivering a contract is, is, is apparent in most things um, because we're trying to deliver a contract and we come up against obstacles and barriers all the time. The fact that we can go back to InterServe and they'll listen and they'll come back and they'll work through issues and problems with us to come up with a solution is really positive for us. Any time that um, a group of providers who are delivering similar contracts come together from different areas, there's always an opportunity to, to pick up tips, share knowledge and, and, and understand how you know, there are slightly different ways of, of, of doing things. You know, I think it's fair to say that most of the providers, in fact all the providers I've talk, talked to, are open, are honest, you know, wanting to, to, you know, find out if there's better ways or different ways of doing it. I don't think anyone's conceited in the, you know, in the fact that, well, there's only one way to do it and it's our way. And that, that's been really good. And I think on previous sessions that we've been to um, with the supply chain, I've always, I've always felt that's the case. But the one thing that I've, I've learned um, really is how um, committed InterServe are going forward around some of the sustainable development issues that are, you know, are being faced, not just for InterServe, but for every organisation. And, uh, you know, we're, I work for Groundwork, you know, we're, a, you know, at heart an environmental organisation and, you know, some of, the, some of the practices and the way we work, you know, embedded in what we do, you know, for a long time now. But um, it's certainly good to see a prime contractor interested in those things and not just interested, but actually wanting and pushing to do something about that. Um, so far, the team have been fantastic. They've come out and done compliance. They've, they're always emailing and giving support. Today, it's been great to meet other managers and meet the InterServe staff face to face. But the best part of today was the presentation that we had from Audrey regards how we engage with employers. Uh, found that really useful, going to take those tips and techniques back to the office and share those with the staff. There's definitely uh, a lot of support there from the InterServe team. I've been really, really surprised at how open the partners have been and in wanting to learn more. Um, and InterServe really do look after them, I think, which is really nice to see. I, I work in other companies, but I would say that InterServe is one of the, the one, one of the ones that have really taken on board the quality and ensuring that that gets filtered through to all the partners. So it's been, it's been a really good relationship. We find as a provider that um, our relationship with InterServe has been really productive and positive from day one. Um, we work on the principles of, of being open book ourselves. There's, there's nothing is too much trouble. Our responsiveness is pretty good either way. Um, and the whole thing has been very, very positive from day one. My relationship with InterServe has been uh, generally a very positive one. Um, I've been very supportive of, of you know, the work we've done. Um, you know, trusted us to, to get on with things and um, given us the freedom um, within the framework to deliver what's required and uh, you know, been there when we've needed them largely and um, like I say helped to support but, but also you know, allowed us to express ourselves and, and do the work in the way that, you know, that we wanted to do it and uh, I think largely that's, that's been positive and certainly come through in, in some of our good achievements. Yeah.